man didn't uh, convey far. Thank you for the word to your colleagues. Considering that time is running, I would just like to make a few comments. Uh, these comments could be the basis for bigger essays, but here is only the remarks themselves. Maybe just offering keywords that it might be perhaps worthwhile um, to, to go to, to elaborate on. Um, when I read uh, George Chapelli uh, and his essay on uh, uh, El actually there was a social scientist, uh, Zoltan Horvath, who wrote an essay, and he talked about the first reform generation by Kossuth and Széchenyi. There was a second generation uh, in the early uh, 18th century, and Oscar Yassi and other social scientists. And maybe it would be worthwhile to take a look at uh, this uh, third generation. He Hankish talked of two generations, actually, but there is a third one. And there are several uh, representatives from, from various areas, uh, including, for instance, Agnes Heller. Uh, th those were the dis disciples of uh, Lukács uh, and uh, Janusz Kornai, mathematician, and Janusz Such from uh, uh, the historic among the historians. And Elemir Hankish belongs to this third generation. Maybe it would be worth looking at it and, and putting Elamir into this picture as well. The second essay topic that I would like to say is uh, the courage that Elamir uh, had. He has a very interesting heritage. I think we could have a debate on this. He started from literature and from history, I think rather from history, from literature. And then he moved into the area of sociology, and then he became a politologist, and then he finished off as a philo philosopher. It's a very organic development. He always analyzed symbols, he looked at the values, but it was a very courageous work and, and over. Uh, obviously, there are some dangers in it. It's more, it's safer, it's more comfortable and convenient if you are just uh, a scientist and you don't put your own work at risk. So I think he was quite the opposite. He was a risk taker and he, he, he ventured to move on uh, to different areas. In the last uh, period of his offer, uh, was uh, when he debated or discussed three questions of philo philosophy. One was the issue of civilization or theory of civilization. And in his work, Fears and Symbols, he talks about these ideas. And the core of this theory is about an unknown word a human being uh, ends up in, and what we want to do is tame this civilization. Maybe it would be worth comparing uh, uh, a theory of Bibi, Bibo and uh, Jan Patochka's essay, which talks about very similar issues. Another problem that uh, Hankish uh, tried to, to look at as uh, a kind of symbolism is uh, the symbols, well, in general, and uh, the anal anal analysis of symbols in everyday life. I think he was the most virtuoso in this when he analyzed the uh, the symbolicism of cars and, and other everyday issues, gods and goddesses, for instance. And the third issue was the existential issues, the meaning of life and death. These were the big issues that he elaborated on. And he writes about these things in the last two works of his, and it, it's, it offers a very nice uh, prospect. Uh, <laughs> I can stop any time, so Bella, please indicate when I should stop. I also put down a term, religious uh, uh, turn, and it was an exa exa existentialist concept. The person is put into a vacancy, and you need to, to do something, a civilization of this nothing. It's something like Sartre, Jean-Paul Sartre. Uh, right in his life. But in the fall of Icarus, you can see that behind the symbols, Hankish is already building a new life. He, he tries to trace uh, transcendent behind the profane. 
and this is what the uh, deciphering of symbols are based on. He actually doesn't uh, dwell too much on this turn. Um, we could also write or take a, 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 a bigger look at his approach uh, or attitude to science. And I wrote a longer essay in, in a study in a journal. And I tried to see how he is related to sci sciences and how he's actually uh, getting away from it at the same time. I think the list can go on. Thank you for your attention for the time being.